Hey everybody and welcome to this month's tips and tricks video. My name is Dave Hiddeman, the application specialist for the steel segment here at Trimble. And uh, this month's episode is about model templates. Uh, now model templates are something that come up a lot, especially with newer users of Tecla. So I wanted to create a quick video to show you how to create one and set one up. Now, um, I also have another video where I talk about firm folders, and firm folders are a great place to put your stored settings, your saved drawing properties, your saved dimensioning styles, and things like that. But there are certain things that don't save well into a firm folder uh, because they, they need to be imported into a model. And some of those things might be like item shapes, for example, or custom components. Uh, there are other things like project properties that you may set up over and over and over again. You know, if you go into your user defined attributes here and you're constantly having to change, say, the uh, the fabricator information, um, by setting up a model template, you don't have to do that. So it, it is a place to save stuff very, very much like a firm folder, but just different kinds of settings. So let's say that I have a fabricator name I'm just going to call this uh, Dave Steel Fab. Um, we'll say modify. You know, maybe we know that we like to use a style three title block, and maybe we know that we like to use a style four bill of material. Okay, so we'll save those away. And then maybe I want to save away a custom component. So I'm going to import a custom component that I've already created. Let me go to my desktop here where I have some of my saved stuff. Um, and you can grab things like custom components to pull them in here. So anything like that that you're setting up and saving away, okay? So once you have the model configured to the point of, all right, now this is something I wanna save. And, and by the way, it's worth noting that these models can be fairly complete. A model template actually can have parts in it if you want that and pre-made drawings if you want that. Um, I would say that most of the Tecla users out there do not need that, but just letting you know that that is an option for you. So once you have those settings complete and custom components imported and all the things that you want to be part of your model template, uh, what you want to do is come up here to your file menu and you want to choose save as, save as model template. So this gives you the opportunity to set up the name of your template. So I'm going to call this uh, sample template model. And then it, you have the option to add a description, um, four tips and tricks video. And then you can choose what you want to include. Do I want to include custom profiles? Do I want to include custom components and sketches? You can see here different subfolders that you can include. So if you've imported different items, you may want to choose the shapes and shape geometries folders. If, you, if this is a model that has stuff in it and drawings created, you may want to select the drawings folder. But once you have that done, you just go ahead and hit OK. And now that model is going to be saved as a model template. And as you can see, it saved it to my local directory, uh, Imperial General Model Templates Sample Template Model. And that means that any new projects that I go and start, so if I go to File New, uh, you can see that there is sample template model. And if I were to create a new model using this template, it's going to have anything in there that I have set up. So again, project properties, advanced options, uh, custom components, imported items, all kinds of saved things can, can be saved into a model template. Um, some other use cases, if you work for multiple customers that do things different ways, maybe you want to have a different model template for each customer. So there's lots of possibilities here. Okay. Um, really, that's it. That's all I wanted to show you. But there is one last thing. Um, so you notice when I save the model template, it saves locally to my folder, my computer. So that means that anyone else who wants to use this model template will have to have that template copied to their folder or copied to their computer. So that's not really going to be um, great in a situation where you have a lot of people and a lot of computers hooked up. So um, what you can do is actually change the directory for where your model templates are being pulled from through a INI file setting. So um, the, the best way to get there and to do this, in my opinion, is to come to your applications and components and do a search for the directory browser. I've talked about this tool in other videos on setting up the firm folder. If you run the directory browser, this is going to give you a series of buttons where you can choose from different folders and files that you want to open. If you go to the user settings, the user any, these are the, the settings that Tecla uses when it launches. You can go into the user any file and you can add 
a custom line. So this is a uh, this is my user any. I don't have much in here. I just got a couple of things I've been uh, messing with and testing. What you want to do is start a new line, and I'm using a, a different text editor than the standard Windows one, but any text editor will work. And you type in the lowercase the word set, and then you want to put in. Let me take out that extra set. You want to put in xs underscore model underscore template underscore directory and then equal sign so I'm gonna leave that up there for a second so you can see that path so this is going to redefine where Tecla looks for its model templates right now it's looking to my local folder so here's where you can set up a server directory so if you have you know an X server or a Q server or who knows whatever number you're using you can come in here and say X you know my Tecla stuff uh, everyone's shared data I'm just making up a folder name here uh, model templates okay so once this file is saved that means that the next time I launch Tecla it will no longer look to my local directory for model templates it will look to the server for model templates and that means you can take the model template put it in that server directory once and then anybody on your network who has this setting controlled from Tecla Structures will then be able to use that one template file. Okay, so that's really what I wanted to show you today. Um, I hope this is pretty kind of clear and concise about making model templates. It's a very powerful thing to be able to do, to be able to save those settings away that have all this stuff in them already. Um, so if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave those below. Um, as always, everybody, I appreciate you watching. Thanks for joining me this time. And uh, we'll see you on the next Tips and Tricks.